Are you considering getting a PRP or stem cell injection for that nagging injury? What does your pre or post procedure protocol look like? Not sure how to squeeze the most benefit out of your procedure? In this video, I'm gonna cover our top four ways we leverage our PRP or stem cell procedures by optimizing the body's physiology to improve healing. We're gonna cover protein, sleep, alcohol and smoking, and movement and exercise. First, we find that most of our patients' protein intake is lacking and needs to be increased. We generally recommend aiming for one gram per pound of body weight each day and maintaining this for a minimum of six months post-procedure. Our bodies will break down the protein into the free form amino acids, which will be utilized as the building blocks for tissue healing. With our patients, we always place the highest priority on protein from whole food sources, followed by animal or plant-based protein shakes, and then free form amino acids, especially the essential amino acid blends, if we are still struggling to meet our daily quota. Pro tip, aim to consume your protein in larger quantities at one time to take advantage of how our bodies were designed. Consuming 30 grams of protein four times a day provides a stronger healing stimulus than the same amount of protein in small snacks throughout the day. Pro tip number two, to supercharge this approach even more, consider incorporating HCL, pepsin, and digestive enzymes to improve protein digestion. Now, important disclaimer, if you are dealing with any chronic health conditions, especially anything involving the liver, heart, or kidneys, please consult with your healthcare provider to ensure that a higher protein consumption is safe for you. The next one is often the most challenging adjustment, but often reaps the most benefits, and that is improving sleep quality and quantity. We have found that our patients who consistently get eight plus hours of sleep per night, yes, eight plus, have the fastest recoveries from their procedure, and they notice the most improvements in the long term. It makes sense, right? We heal when we sleep, so if we sleep more, healing is amplified. We recommend our patients develop a routine that includes morning sunlight exposure within 30 minutes of waking, viewing the sunset, reducing overhead light exposure after sunset, minimizing screen time two hours before sleep, and getting into bed nine hours before the desired wake-up time. Pro tip, to optimize the results, maintain this routine until you're pain-free, and then continue to continue to reap those benefits. Pro tip number two, if our patients have struggled to execute on a new sleep routine, we use the habit stacking concept that James Clear discusses in his book, Atomic Habits. Now next is a touchy subject for many people, and that's completely abstaining from alcohol and smoking. Smoking is usually easy for almost all of our patients as our main demographic doesn't smoke to begin with, but many of our patients struggle to give up alcohol for a long period of time. Personally, I'm coming up on three years without alcohol and the biggest perk I've enjoyed is never having poor sleep because I've had a few drinks. And as we said earlier, dialing in sleep for healing is an absolute must. For our patients who consume alcohol heavily, we recommend abstaining for two to three months prior to the procedure. And for those who only drink casually, we usually just recommend eliminating for three to four weeks beforehand. After the procedure, we recommend patients to abstain for three to six months during that major healing phase. If anyone is considering working with us and they are a smoker, we recommend them to quit for at least three months before undergoing a PRP or stem cell procedure. Pro tip, there are a lot of fantastic alcohol-free beers these days, which can help with the social aspect of you know, going out for drinks and things like that. Last but certainly not least is a collection of activities including movement, exercise, and physical therapy. All three of these buckets have different purposes at different times of the healing process, but they are essential because the one thing that they all have in common is that they promote blood and lymph flow, which supports oxygen and nutrient delivery and removal of waste and carbon dioxide from the healing area. On top of this, exercise and physical therapy are strong recommendations for our patients as proper tissue loading helps in aligning newly formed collagen in the correct direction, which helps strengthen the tissue over time. Pro tip, if you're sleeping enough and consuming enough protein, the improvements you will see from exercise and physical therapy are massively increased. In the ideal scenario, we like if our patients can start establishing these habits prior to their procedure. That way they are ingrained post-procedure. This eliminates the struggle of forming new habits during the recovery from the PRP or stem cell procedure. I sincerely hope that you have found these insights valuable and are now equipped with strategies to get the most out of your PRP or stem cell procedure. Optimizing your physiological state is the key to accelerating and maximizing your healing process.